What if I told you that this simple movement could predict your risk for fractures and even how long you live? It sounds crazy, right? But science backs it up. It's called grip strength, and it's a powerful indicator of bone health and longevity. But almost nobody's talking about it. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to test your grip strength at home, what it means for your bones, and simple ways to improve it with no fancy equipment needed. Ready to see if you pass? Hello, my friends, I'm Sarah, a BoneFit certified fitness instructor, a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. And I'm also a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of osteoporotic fractures that happen each year. And I'm so pleased to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. So let's have a look at a few different ways that can test your grip strength at home. Go ahead and try one of these out with me. So first up is the jar lid test that tests your functional grip strength. Go ahead and grab a stubborn jar from your pantry and then see if you can open it easily or do you have to get somebody else's help? If jar lids are a challenge, that could be a sign that your grip strength needs a little bit of work. As you can see, I'm still working on my own grip strength. I had to get my son to help me. I have rheumatoid arthritis, so this is always an area that I'm mindful of, but that's exactly why these small consistent efforts matter. The second grip test is the carry test. Grab either a pair of grocery bags that are full of some stuff or maybe a pair of dumbbells and then see if you can carry them for at least 30 seconds without your grip giving out. This mimics real life grip demands and it's also a great way to strengthen your grip at the same time. Third up is the towel twist. Take a dry towel and twist it as tightly as you can, like you're wringing out water. Feel the muscles in your forearms working. That's your grip strength in action. So which one of these tests did you pick to try out? Share in the comments how it went. Next, I'm sharing why grip strength is such a powerful predictor of bone health and what you can do to build it. So why does something as simple as grip strength matter so much for your bone health and even for how long you live? Grip strength isn't just about your hands. It's actually a powerful marker for your overall strength, for your muscles, for your bones, and even for your nervous system. Studies have shown that people that have lower grip strength often have lower bone density, especially in their hips and spine where fractures can be the most dangerous. One major study that was published in the Journal of Gerontology found that weak grip strength was linked to having a higher risk for fractures, having poor mobility and even higher mortality rates. Simply put, if your grip is getting weaker, it's a red flag that your whole body might be losing strength, including your bones. So let me share something that really puts this into perspective. In another large study that examined over 1,200 men and 1,300 women, researchers found that people with weaker grip strength also had lower bone density, and not just in their hands or their wrists, but also in critical areas like the spine and hips, where fractures can be life-altering. As the researchers put it, grip strength has been reported to be associated with bone mass locally and at the forearm and also at distal skeletal sites, including the spine and hip. That's a direct connection between your grip strength and your bone health, but it doesn't stop there. Another massive study out of the UK looked at over 500,000 women aged between 40 and 69. The results were a serious wake up call as grip strength weakens, the risk for developing cardiovascular disease, respiratory issues, cancer, and even early death goes way up. Not a good thing. In plain terms, if your grip is weak, your body is sending a warning that it's losing strength in more ways than one, including your bones. So what can you do about it? It turns out that improving your grip strength isn't just about building a stronger handshake. It's a powerful way to rebuild and to protect your overall strength from the ground up. And here's the interesting part. When you work on your grip strength, you're not just training your hands. 
the muscles that control your grip are actually located in your forearms. So every time you squeeze, hold, or carry something heavy, you're also strengthening the muscles that support your wrists and your forearms. And that's a big deal for bone health. Why is it such a big deal? Because the wrist is actually the third most common fracture site, especially for women who are over 50. These are often called distal radius fractures, and they usually happen during a fall because we instinctively reach out to catch ourselves. Having strong forearm and wrist muscles act like a built-in shock absorber that helps to provide stability and protection that helps to prevent these painful and often life disrupting injuries. So remember that every time you train your grip, you're also protecting one of the most vulnerable fracture sites in your body. It's a simple action that carries powerful protection for your future health and your independence. So now the big question is, how do you actually build stronger grip and wrist strength? The good news is that you don't need fancy gym equipment or expensive gadgets. You can start right now with just a, a few simple exercises that fit easily into your daily routine. Let me show you how. So here's a simple but highly effective exercise to strengthen the muscles that open your hand. It's the rubber band stretch. Take a rubber band and place it around your fingers and your thumb, near the middle of your fingers. So from here, start with your fingers together and then slowly stretch them outward, opening your hand as wide as you can against the band's resistance. Hold this position for a second or two and then release back to your starting position. That's one repetition. Aim for between 10 to 15 of these. This exercise strengthens the muscles that open your hand, helping to improve grip endurance and to balance out the muscles that are overworked by typing and gripping things all day long. The next exercise is the towel twist that's great for working your grip and your forearms. Grab a regular hand towel, hold it with both of your hands, twist it tightly like you're wringing out water, hold the twist for five to 10 seconds and then reverse the directions. You'll feel this working right through your hands, your wrists, and your forearms. Try for five sets going each direction. Our next exercise is wrist curls that target your forearms and your wrist strength. Hold a light dumbbell or even a soup can. Rest your forearm on a table or your thigh with your wrist hanging off the edge, palm facing up. Slowly curl the weight up and then lower it back down with control. Do this 10 to 15 times and then switch to having a palm down for reversed wrist curls to strengthen the other side of your forearm. For best results, try doing these exercises three to four times a week or even daily if they're feeling good to you. Even adding just one or two of these exercises into your daily routine will help you to notice your grip strength improving. Having stronger hands means that you have stronger bones, better balance, and also greater independence for years to come. Remember that it's never too late to build strength. Starting right now, right where you are, your hands might be small, but they hold the key to having stronger bones, better balance, and a longer and healthier life. So if you tried any of these tests or exercises today, I'd love to hear how it went. Drop a comment below and share your results or which exercises you're committed to trying this week. Thank you for being part of this incredible community that's taking real steps towards better bone health and living a stronger and healthier life. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who could use a little boost in their bone health too. Together, we can reduce the number of fractures that are happening every year and take back our strength one small step at a time. And on that note, I look forward to talking with you soon.